You got people that are on the streets that got mental disabilities. You got people that have chronic drug habits. You got people on the streets that got no drive, no dream. People on the streets that would just cut your throat just because they want your sneakers. And yet there I am, I'm on the streets, and the only hang up I find myself ever having is Nothing's on my mind but my next song. My next song is so important to me because it's getting my feelings out to other people that might understand my feelings because I've been so alienated in my life. You know, between doing a year in prison here, a year in prison there, eight months in jail, seven months in jail, basically my whole juvenile life was locked up. So I've got something to say to the world and I want to say it through a song. I want to say it through a song where I'm pleased with the song. And if I accept the song as not having to be recorded again, then I want it to be heard. When I was homeless in LA or Florida or Alabama, no matter where I was, I always carried a paintbrush with, matter of fact, this is a brand new paintbrush. This is a Purdy, one of the best there is besides Worcester. And my dog just chewed off the end of it last night. And I was like so mad because this I used right before they took my leg off. I thought the only reason why I went to the hospital was because I thought my ankle was broken. And I figured they just put a cast on it and then it'd be healed. But then when the, the surgeon came and says, Mr. Horvitz, why is the bottom of your foot black? Oh, that's just because I was walking on a dirty floor. He said, Mr. Horvitz, that's not from walking on a dirty floor. You got gangrene. And I looked at him, and I knew right away what the word gangrene meant. And I'll admit, just for a minute and a half, tops, tears came out of my eyes. And after a minute and a half, the tears stopped, and the universe shredded down on me the mindset of, I wasn't scared that, okay, I'm going to the operating room. It's not so bad. It's pretty darn cool to be without a leg and seeing what you could do in your life when you have nothing to try to get something, like my song on the radio. I always could find a dream if I didn't have a dream. I wouldn't want to live this life without a dream. That'd be insane. I'm glad I'm the man I am and I got a dream because I wouldn't want to not be me without a dream. I'm finding it hard to... Uh, convert from two legs to one. It's very frustrating. It makes me very angry. But when I start getting really heated up about it, I turn myself off like a light switch. I always like to think positive, but I will admit I'm human. Because with two legs, I really haven't gotten far in life other than wisdom. I came from a broken home. At 12 years old, I ran away. And of course, I got arrested all the time because 12 years old and on the streets. I came to New York City, give it a shot at music. Every song I've done has surprised a lot of people. I decided it was gonna be about this girl that I was madly in love with and uh, she was in love with me and then one day she just up and walked out of my life. I just felt violated so bad that I knew my next song was gonna be about me expressing how I felt about her leaving. And uh, I did it on one take, two takes. I did, it, I did that song in less than 45 minutes. Never knew what the words were gonna be. All I knew was the storyline and it just flew like magic together. Um, seven years ago, there's an outreach team that uh, goes around the city. Finally, I gave in when I had my dog seven years ago, and I agreed uh, if they can get me a place with the dog of my own, I would go with them. Now, I'm sober.
Even though I don't have all my teeth, at least I can say none of them were knocked out. 